for that. We're gonna install the EcoB3 thermostat. Um, this video is for the installation of the peak adapter. Uh, there's not really a schematic of how to install this thing uh, to a unit that doesn't have a board. Uh, this is a carrier unit, I think. And as you can see, it doesn't have the board that they show you on the schematics on the on the on the little manual. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of mess of cables. So um, it's a, a lot less complicated than I thought. So the main thing you need to keep uh, in mind is um, you need to just identify. I'm not an electrician or anything, so I was able to figure this out. Um, this is the cable that comes from the thermostat. Okay, and locate the schematic. So in this case, we have uh, the C wire, which is brown, which is right here. Then we have the red, is red. White, it's to a bundle of wires. Uh, white, blue, and violet, uh, which is uh, this bundle right here. And it's connected to the white white cable that's coming from a thermostat. So I label these with the little labels that they provide you. Um, and then obviously you have the ground, the green wire. It's the gray on the on the unit. So it's right here. So as you can see, I I, I did my wires coming from the thermostat. Okay. And then the rest of the mass is basically. Uh, this is a schematic I found online that is not specifically for this thing, but it shows you uh, the wire coming down from the uh, the unit outside the condenser. Uh, not the condenser, I'm sorry, the, the air conditioning unit. So this cable, follow it, and it goes all the way outside. Then I have another cable here, this white cable that's coming over here, that is for this smoke detector. And then I have a third wire that is for this pan, for the, um, if this fills with water, it shuts off the system. So if you follow the cables and you have your red coming from a thermostat, but then this taps into smoke detector, then it goes into this other cable that goes into this thing. So it's, it's, a, it's a closed loop. So you can ignore everything else and just replace you know, colored with color. So you would, you, you would just install from the from the peak connector, you would install the yellow, where the yellow is. You install the white, where the white is. The green, with the gray, as shown on the schematic. Then you understand, you install the red, with the red, leaving everything exactly how it is. The trick is, as we can see on the schematic, the blue wire, or C, it's the brown so we're going to put this blue one into the brown and that's it and you were able to connect everything else here so obviously when you connect the peak uh, extension here uh, you're gonna have to remove each of these wires because you're replacing it with these and then these you're going to put them on the other end of the peak connection so white yellow green and red so once you do that you have to successfully install this thing. Now you can go back to the instructions. And in here they show you um, basically coming from the peak terminal, which will be the, sorry, I lost it. So the peak terminal. Uh, coming from the peak terminal, uh, you are connecting every wire coming from the peak into this side of the, of the plate that goes into the thermostat here. That's pretty much it. So uh, I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'm going to wire this up. So as you can, you're gonna see that all these label wires are gonna be gone and they're going to be replaced by this one. And the blue one is gonna go into the brown one. Cause as you can see, coming from the thermostat, there is no wire going into the brown one. The brown one, it's hooked to this wire, which is going to the air conditioning unit outside. And when you see the schematic, you're gonna see that it makes sense. They want the air conditioning cable 
one end connected to the brown and they want the other end connected to the yellow and that's basically what you're going to do uh, this is the only thing that it's not clear uh, and everything else it's cut dry i mean they wire this up so they can have a bypass in case any of these things trigger the smoke detector or this sensor right here so this is all hooked up to the thermostat and the unit but you just ignore all that focus on the cables coming from the thermostat and the thing to remember again is locate the cable coming from the air conditioning unit outside one needs to go to the brown one needs to go to the yellow and that's it so the peak was installed so as you can see uh, all the cables coming from the thermostat are now on the other half of the peak and then everything here it's um like i said before the blue should go with the brown or c to brown as shown in here c to brown red to red so we got red here but we got this smoke detector cable so it's red and it's bridge here into this uh, other cable so red to red then we got white to white so schematic shows white to this white bundle so white to the white bundle and then we have uh, yellow we put the yellow back where it was uh, which is um, to one of the cables that goes back to the air conditioning unit and then the other air conditioning unit goes to the brown or C and that's pretty much it then I'm gonna put this back you know, the two halves together uh, and then I'm going to wire this up uh, as shown on the schematic here So this is our peak, and we're gonna go into the half of the thermostat, and then we're gonna connect it that way, and everything should work. All right, hope this helps.